Now this is why we can't do any drone fishing here. The bloody party poopers up there. Party pooper? What's party pooper? I don't know. What do you think of party poopers? You don't have party poopers in Korea? You're so polite. <laughs> Sorry about Mark's language, guys. In this episode, we are exploring our long-time favorite camping and fishing spot, south of Auckland, in the Afitu Peninsula with our new camping setup. We planned to fish at Graham's Beach, Wattle Bay, Big Bay. Well, we finally got something. And the famous Hamilton Gap. We also made side trips to the lighthouse. An amazing view of the Manukau Head. We also went to the Afitu Regional Park campsite where we camped a few times when we still lived in Auckland. It's a great spot for camping. Now the first thing we gotta do is we gotta find ourselves some bait. So we're headed out to the place called Big Bay Holiday Park. To the Big Bay Holiday Park. Uh, right here we are parked at a private campground which is part of the New Zealand Motorhome Association. Check out this here. Starlink Internet. And this thing is really fast, so quite nice. Alright, let's go. Yeah, shop's still open. Hello. 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 Just need to get some bait. Okay, mission com accomplished. Haitian, hey, you've got a nice bag full of pill charts. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna chuck that in the freezer. What are you doing, Haitian? Hey, okay, Haitian hey, is assembling the table. I managed to get my rods out here. The good old Balsa Surfcaster and my really good old warehouse Chipo Surfcaster. Which is most of the fish. Which catches most of our fish. And I got my flounder spear here as well. Just in case. We are waiting for the sunset to go fishing and before that we are having a Korean barbecue dinner tonight. And those are puffballs that we collected earlier. We found them at the previous campsite. Well don't worry we're not eating your friends today we're eating pork. Okay Haitian is gonna demonstrate now how to eat co- oops sorry wrong, wrong camera direction. Okay, Haitian is gonna demonstrate now how to eat Korean food in the proper way. First, you pour the soju in the glass. And then drink soju one time, quickly. And then, you have your leafy green. Today I have a coarse lettuce and the Chinese cabbage. This is just celery. I put it here nicely. We have a little bit of rice and the pork. It's um, grilled kimchi. Sauce. This is a samjang that I made, handmade. Mark loves to eat with the mayonnaise. And then, push it into your mouth. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how to eat Korean barbecue. <laughs> uh, all mushrooms. No, this one you got like a soft piece of uh, tofu. All right, so now it's about sunset time. We got some pill shirts that we bought earlier so I'm taking four and the beauty of camping here tonight is that the fishing spot is just across the road Graham Beach. earlier I set up my surf casters each surf caster only has one breakout sinker and one five barrel hook on each one we're just gonna tie on those pill shirts there and see what we can do on the incoming tide make sure to check the tie tie on fishingreminder.com now walking along the beach, there's actually a little stream running along here and it's running straight out here, which is often a good sign, a freshwater stream entering the sea. So we might just cast here. We've got like this here, a little squid skirt on a five barrel hook. Use that on one hook and the pilchard is still way too frozen unfortunately. but. Yeah, let's cast this one out first. Guys, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to explore more beautiful camping and fishing spots with us. So it's a promising you think today? I don't know, it's the first first time fishing here, so I just sort of oh bite. Bite! <gasps> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there, straight away. 
Nothing on there. All the birds no bait. gone in seconds. Mm. Just gonna put the soft plate on. This is a squid vicious, which has already been bitten off a little bit. But I bought that specifically for surf casting. And let's see how that goes. It's a lot of junk hanging on here. But we brought four frozen <laughs> pizza, but they are eaten right away by the nibblers. So we put it on some soft bait. So we're just waiting for those if any bites, and then we will go home and drink tea and have a good sleep. Alright guys, we are at Wattle Bay now. Check this out. Really cool, right at the Manukau head. We've already seen a fish jumping out here. It's full moon. Over on the other side is a corn wallet. A little bit further down the end there is a Fatipur near right. Now, three bidding time. Just uh, starting the best bite times here. The yellow bits are the minor fishing times. Black indicator indicates the current time. So we're just starting incoming tide and uh, best bite time is now. Let's so I think our bait's already done. Just last. How are we gonna do this? We cannot just keep doing this, isn't it? I think we need to have a squid. We lost all our pizza baits by those gribblers in a short time. Today we came to Big Bay and we have a secret weapon to deal with those sneaky bait stealers. Hey yo! You wanna catch big fish? Then you come to Big Bay maybe. He's coming. Cool. What's so warm now? So cold. So no one here in the best dated place now. All the trees fell down to the ground after big flooding. Oh, lot of the trees came down. Gosh. Here we go. I just added a small keeper hook here with some 20 pound line, I think. And uh, instead of bait elastic, I just sort of wrap that around here. And then I just keep a hook at the end here. This stinger hook can sort out the nibblers. A big hook and a keeper hook. Bite with me. Maybe we very small fish. Oh, yeah. You can only get the snapper here in Manukau. I was hoping for a small bait fish, but a small snapper. He got hooked on that little keeper hook that I put on there. Tiny one. Hi. So last attention in the Manukau harbor. Supposedly that is the best spot around here because it's closest to the harbor entrance and in good casting range into the channel at low tide. So. On the last day we came back to Water Bay to try oh, what happened? Time. Small snapper. Or feels a bit like tugging like a snapper rather than a car, right? Ah baby. There's chance to lose fish. Feels really warm that little snapper. We finally got something. Patience, patience onto something on the first cast. Bit heavy. Probably it's a um, car, right? It's coming. Asian, keep going. Oh. Keep going. Oh, yeah, we got a car, right? That's a big and fat car. Fish has a strange injury on his skin, so we kept it for bait. It was really quick, just first cast in like within 10 seconds. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Finally caught a fish in the in the Manuka. Well the second fish today. But Haitian caught it. And Haitian is the lucky one. Yeah, it's got hooked on the second hook and the small hook. And the keeper hook. Something feels missing. We also plan to fish at the Hamilton Gap. 
The weather wasn't on our side on that day. This is impossible to fish here. Not fishable at all. There's a lot of wash out from the, from the flooding. All the stuff came washed down with the river here during the recent Auckland flooding. And this wind, gosh. It's a beautiful spot and heard lots of good stories about it. We hope we can come back here when it's not too windy. In the next episode, we will try a new fishing boat. Another big change from our good old kayak. So guys, stay tuned to see some new stuff in our next episode. <laughs>